Yes, live at um, Ogba. The governor is uh, about to commission the Ogba Road, 20 km Road. The governor of the state has just arrived. And uh, please, when he comes, let us uh, rise as a mark of honor for the Otokmadu governor. Terry Isaacs Idaho is working with me, my brother. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We are receiving His Excellency now, the Governor of Edo State, to perform a very, very important task in the interests of the very good people of the uh, Yekoba community and the borough. to appreciate His Excellency and the State Government for this wonderful initiative. We also
Yeah, don't answer, please. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Yes, um, this, this is Ogba. Ogba Road. Those of us in front, came today to commission 20 kilometer road. Is going to just be by the ending of the fast and as brief uh, as possible. Where the road stops at the airport road, out. continuing into the Ogba community. So that's what the governor is coming to commission today: the 20 kilometer road into Ogba. Your Excellency. The executive governor of Edo State, the chief of staff to the governor of Edo State, honorable commissioners, members of the House of Assembly present here, former members of the House of Assembly present here, and uh, the great uh, Eniki of this domain. Or deal with the youths and women of the communities benefiting from this project and gathered here today. I congratulate you. We're here by Selo Bay. Today is a very historic day. We are replaying a history of the greatness of the need. And uh, of course, this is a government that has made it a point of duty to actualize the total renaissance of the people. This road is very important in the new kingdom. From the Oba Aziz, the 20 kilometer road will span Oba, a Wadia, a Wubi Oba, the road you will know we now and all the others. Actually, the road is a very historic one. If you know this road very well, it is the shortest cut to the Ligene from the Iduasa Junction, which is uh, having a boundary with Ipokwan, that's uh, the airport road as is of uh, boundary road. It ends in the Ligene at uh, Ugogogi and Okwa which is where the waterland starts. To tell you the very strategic and important place of this road, when Roy de Sequera visited Benin in the time of old, he did not pass through Kwatu. History has it that he passed through here because this is the shortest road. Afonso de Avero came through the hinterland and the marshes because he wanted to come unnoticed. Captain Phillips and these other white men who were the principal uh, antagonists of the invasion in 1897 passed through Guato, which is the Uwa Aziz, because they were entering the knee on a house. This place is called the Duasa. It is a cul de sac. It leads to nowhere. It is the approach to the sea, bringing commerce, bringing trade, bringing wealth bringing prosperity. Can we put our hands together for the governor? And I tell you, the governor has brought back the glory of the Edo nation. That's what the anthem says. 
the glory of the new Edo nation will forever be our pride. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. At this juncture, Your Excellency, permit me to invite the audio we of this community who is present here. Your Excellency, permit. All right, thank you so much, Your Excellency. It is almost traditional that when Kola North is introduced, politics will begin to play. But uh, the honor belongs to the Odiowe Pa Okosui. Please take the Kola North to him. Thank you so much for that very powerful prayer done in traditional fashion. Your Excellency, next 
is the welcome address and that will be done by the Honorable Commissioner for Roads and Bridges, Honorable Ethan Usaze Uzali. Please a round of applause. A round of applause. Your Excellency, it is also very important to note that on part where we are holding this event today, very strategic in Benin. The first source of water supply in the whole of the Midwest region, the source was taken from the Oba River. That explains why tap water is called Oba in Benin. Please, for the governor to recognize our old legacies, revive them, and bring them to a star point. Please put your hands together for him. What up, Baisa? I can ask him now. What up? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I tell Terry Isaac now. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the His Excellency deserves a bigger round of applause for having taken the path of history to reenact all that a duel stands for. So ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we'd like to invite the contractor handling this project, and that's Gladric Code Nigeria Limited. Please, we invite the representative to step forward to give a speak, a short brief remarks on uh, what he intends to do and what the project is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite the representative of Gladrico Nigeria Limited to please step forward. Thank you so much. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for him. Your Excellency, sir. Sir. The Executive Governor of the uh, State. I stand here to represent my chairman, Chief Eric Ebosele, Gladrico International Limited. Uh, we thank uh, the executive, executive governor of Edo State for giving it fit for us to be awarded this uh, particular and strategic uh, uh, project. So I just want to make a commitment, sir, that as usual, as we have been handling uh, some projects for your government and we have been delivering the projects successively, we still have a commitment to deliver this one uh, in a record time. So that is a good idea to teaser. Thank you so much. Can we please put our hands together for him? Very shortly, the youth leader will be speaking to us very briefly. Mr. Sonny Iyamu, please can you step forward? This is one young man who has led the youths of this community very well. And he has also complied with government directives to jettison what is against the law. And he has led the people of this community to convert themselves in an orderly manner. And I want to believe that he wants to reenact that there will be continuous peace in this community. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Sonny Iyamu. Sir, I don't have 
have more to say. Me and me are you to thank you very much. Pray to God to guide you, to protect you. We want to start for you, you finish it. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the Councillor Harrison Izeko to speak. Oh, God. Your Excellency, the Assembly Governor of those states, Mr. Godwin, the Norway Gansai of Baseki, the Otoki Nidu. Permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Ana Yekoba! Historic. We want to first of all appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Today is history. We are happy that for over 30 years we have been on this journey, clamoring for several governments to come to our rescue or to no avail. We have done so much to the extent that our people are even, they are not even fighting us, telling us the story that today. History has been made. We want to appreciate you. We want to say that the people of Yekoba will forever be grateful for your intervention. When you take the other road to the Kobaga local government, we thought it was a joke. We were crying. And we know the several development on that road. Today, by the special grace of God, we have 19 feet stations from there to bypass. And they are employing people. We are talking statistics. So, that road you have created there, you have created several jobs. I want to assure our people again that when we finish with this road, I've told my people yesterday that we are not, it's not a joke. We are not going to put Caterpillar here and leave. By the time we take care to a Kenwa road, we will create another 10,000 jobs. We also have seen that people say that they are with you. And we will support you to the last. By the special grace of God, the Ekopa people who will queue behind your successor. By the time you ring the bell, sir, our people will start the work from there. Once again, I want to assure you that you should not fear the people are behind you. You are put smile on our faces. Today, I've told you that we should buy powder. We want to dance because we have never seen it this way. May God Almighty keep you, keep you for us, and we'll complete this project. Please a round of applause. A round of applause for the councillor. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to welcome the Enogi of Umegbe Dukto, His Royal Highness Osayemere Anthony Usagi, for his speech. Please a round of applause.
we must construct this road. And today, we are here to flag off this road. Your Excellency, Your Excellency. And your own, your son, your boy, Honorable Nigeria. Daughter, Daughter Honorable Tony, who is in your house. Mr. Wahoo, Mr. Wahoo. My Excellency, I don't have much to say. We started celebrating since yesterday. My commissioner came here to tell us that the flag up will take place today. So we are happy. We thank you. All government that have come. No one come here to tell us to construct this suit. No one promised. But I know so years back. We have a government that says they will construct this one. We spent eight years, nothing was done. But today you came to flag off this one. We continue to remember you. We pray for you. As I said before, I don't have much to say because my heart is full of God. I want to thank you. The new one, the new couple, I went to a new gate, a new gate, a new way, a new way, a new way, a new way. Thank you. Your Excellency, the kept mentioning Yekoba, Yekoba, Yekoba is very large, so they are going to benefit from here down to Ogo Barase on Saturday Road. The next Duke John is Ogo Barase. Uh, is, the last two dump is over Barase, and the other one is Olobo, which is not part of Yekoba. Yekoba is very large. From here down to the boundary with Olobo, they are all going to benefit from this project. Please put your hands together for His Excellency. And that leads me to the next item. Terry. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The governor of Tokpe. Abaseki at Tokpe. Wakubon Abaseki. Is he not doing well? Is he doing well? Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for His Excellency. At this point, Your Excellency will now be addressing us. It's my pleasure to invite him to the podium. Very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Shall we be all standing for His Excellency, Mr. Godwin Nogagase of Baseki, the man who says it and does it. The Secretary to the State Government, Sardinia Odi, Odi Esquire, Chief of Staff, Honorable Members of the Edo State House of Assembly, who are here, the Honorable Commissioner for Roads and Bridges, and other State Executive Members, Enigi, and other traditional rulers in Yekoba. And the youths of Yekoba. Ada Yekoba. This afternoon, you have heard from the commissioner, you have heard from the community while we are here. It's to fulfill a promise. A few years ago, I came to this community and during my first visit, I was shocked how we as government have abandoned such valuable area as Yekokwa. You have heard of the historical importance of this road and these routes to the 
success of the Great Benin Empire. You also have seen how we have been struggling to cope with the influx of people into Edo. For many years, we've, we stopped planning. And so what we have now is a city that was planned for about half a million people now containing over 2.5 million people. And that has been putting pressure on this axis of Benin City. As a politician from Oedo, we know the value of a Yekogba. We know what happens during elections from the three communities in this area. And the only way we can pay you back for your loyalty, for your steadfastness, is to bring development to your communities. That is why I'm here today to personally flag off. You know I don't like to flag off, I don't like to commission. But I say I will come to assure you that this road that we are starting today, we will finish it. You know I don't I don't say what I will not do. We will finish this road. That's why I'm giving it to two contractors. One will start from this end, and the other one will start from the other end. I also want to assure my brothers, the youths of this community, I know you, and you know me. I understand you, and I hope you understand me. This road is going to do more than you will expect. In addition to this road, I want to thank the communities led by the Enigis and the chiefs for graciously making land available. Because apart from this road, we want to extend Benin to this axis. We are building a new town that will occupy almost 500 hectares, just as we are doing in Iriri along this axis. It will bring jobs, it will bring development that you cannot imagine. I'll talk better, sir. So you will not lose anything. We will work closely with you to make sure that we plan this area to be a modern area for dwelling. <laughs> Yesterday, I approved that the people who are doing planning for us should fly over this community. So you'll be seeing some planes flying over, don't be afraid. They have cameras. They are just taking, taking the image of the place so that we can plan and design the city. Well. They are also going to be undertaking what they call a LIDAR survey, a very powerful survey, because so many things have happened here in the last 500 years. And part of what we are doing to, as they described it, the renaissance of the Benin nation is for us to find out many, many more things about our past. This site, you know, is very historical. Yes, sir. So, this afternoon is not for long speeches. It's just to come and give you the assurance that I promise you that I will do this road, I will build this road. I'm here to flag it off. And I'm here to promise you <laughs> that we will finish the road. Amen. And to ask for your support and your cooperation. Amen. And that beyond the road, we want to bring development into this area. So youth, you will work with us Very so well. that we can plan this area properly. Very well. So that it will not be like other areas. Okay, so that when people come here to buy land, to build, whatever they do, we continue to appreciate. Amen.
So by the grace of God and with the support of all of you, I may not come to commission because I don't, I'm not a commissioner. <laughs> but this road will be complete before I leave office. <laughs> Governor is uh, taking a walk to see the route for himself, where yeah, airport routes, um, previous work ended, and where yeah, it's going to continue from. As you can see, the tire route ended somewhere around there, from airport road. So 
So I am very happy to be sharing this video. So this is the bridge connecting the Ogba, the bridge connecting Ogba to Airport Road. So this bridge. So they are going to expand this bridge. So guys, you can see. I'm not going to be able to As you can see, the governor passionately um, discussing what he wants for the roads. Expansion of the bridge that we are currently on top right now. So guys, you can see the people they are coming. And I'm super excited. So we're all joined together with His Excellency to ensure that uh, they do become great again. So my brother, please share the video very much.